originally this was tied just as a bit of fun but I ended up catching one or two fish so I'm going to show you and again you could just have a bit of fun with it you could tie whatever pattern you like to to actually tie um, I'm just using the dabbler now the thread I'm going to be using just the uni A80 in black hook is a Kamasan B175 size 10 and I'm going to start the thread at the eye and work my way up just bend down a layer of thread until we come to the end of the shank or just before it goes round the bend I'm going to put a tag on this now this is a medium blue holographic uh, tinsel and I'm going to catch it on the side wind the thread round the bend about 3mm or so and then come back up now to protect this I'm going to use some super glue I'm going to apply it just to the one side and then when I wind the, the tinsel round to form the tag, it'll stick and take its own small reservoir of super glue with it all the way around. And basically it'll last much longer if you do that. You could wind up and then varnish over it and then go back once it's dry. It's up to yourself, but that works fine. Now in this fly I'm going to be using all Chinese cock necks. Uh, these, are, in this case, this is a, a really looks blowy part. It's purple. It's a great colour. This is going to be used for the tail. Peel some of the purple out. Just bring it 90 degrees from the stem, and then I'm going to mix it with some. This is dyed claret bronze mallard. And all I'm doing, going to do here is just roll it and roll the bronze mallard within the purple fibres. You could dye the bronze mallard purple. I just thought it was a good mix this. Length, you're looking at the length of the hook or the tail. And then tie it down. Two or three turns. Now there's going to be a wing and a front hackle in this, so you've got to give yourself at least three mil or so from the, the head area. Now, for the rib, I'm just going to use a silver wire. This is a small, smaller medium would do. First thing I'm going to do though is make sure these are tied down. Do my thread up, let them back down. Just be a bit lax on the thread. Just to tighten up at the back, and make sure nothing's going to move. At this point here, always check. See where you're going to start. There is sometimes you'll wander up a wee bit, so just make sure where you are. Now the body is in three three parts. Now we've got seals for here. This is a blue with a UV blue light bright blended through it. Just dub it on. Nice and light. Now this was tied originally, just as a bit of fun. Just out of curiosity, and that's simple one, just to see how it would work. Next, I've got a yellow, with a yellow light bright mixed through it. Just run up. Take away the excess. Just draw back anything that's going sort of forward. And then again, the next uh, is some more. Seals fur, in this case a nice orange with orange light bright mixed through it. Dub it on. This is just like a body. Once this is blended and mixed into the hackles, you get a nice colour. There's going to be three hackles going to go round down all at the same time. It's a bit, a bit of a fiddle this. Now I've got blue, green and yellow. So it's yellow first, I'll lay the green on top, and then the blue. Get them all the same length, come up and remove the fluff from the bottom, catch it on the side. Now it's important that you wax your thread at this point, you need a lot of grip. And make sure you've got a good 3 to 4 mil. take away the excess. 
run it down. And then you could use hackle pliers, or in this case, I'm just going to use my fingers. Now you only need like a turn at the top, and then try and bring the hackles together, and in between the segment of colours. You don't want to try and cover too much. You really got to be good with your fingers here. Come in with your wire. That's why I use wire, because it's much stronger. And then come up through. Nice and tight. And don't be shy with the length of the hackle. I like a good length. Pull or draw back any of the fibres. Come up with your thread. Put a 90 degree bend into the wire. And then tidy up. Thread right down to the, the eye. Bend and break it off. It's important that you tie in basically what's holding the body together, and that's the wire. You get more wax onto your thread. And then you can either break or cut away these ends. And then get your Velcro. It looks like a bit of a mess just now. Probably is a bit of a mess looking, but it actually it is a nice colour. Nice pulls together really well. Bring out your seals fur and the light bright into the hackle. Then another two hackles. In this case I've got a nice hot orange and a badger dyed red. Now the orange is first, we have to save bulk, tie these in by the tip, and draw them both together. Make sure your thread's up beside the, the hackle. A couple of turns is all we need. Now at this point make sure the wax is on your thread. It's amazing the grip the wax will give you, and the strength as well. You can take away these points. and wind it both together. Now you don't need a lot because remember you have two hackles here I would say at the most two turns so there's one and a bit, that's plenty, you don't need much more, any more than that a nice bend, 90 degree bend into the hackles two or three turns to catch it down trim away the excess tidy up Again, I'm just going to mix this together. Then I'm going to get the bronze mallard dyed claret. I've already taken some for the mixing the tail, so I'm just going to tear some off. Now you want to try and line up the tips before you tear it off. I'm going to roll or fold these fibres in themselves. Don't only need a small impression of a wing, you don't need to have this big heavy wing on it. And then tie it down. Just pinch and loop a loop or two, trim away the excess. Now what we do here is again make sure the wax is on the thread before I start to bind this in. Again more wax. It's important that you wax at this area because you need all the grip. Up oh, now you've got about two mil of an area there. Just look how the wing's sitting. That's fine, it's okay. You'd be amazed how this looks in the water. It's, really <laughs> it's, it's quite amazing. Now, this is optional. Got two small jungle cork eyes. Just line them up. Hold them at the ends and then remove draw back the fibres that you don't need set them on the side of the wing come round two or three turns down and then draw these back two or three turns to make sure it's not going to move now you could break these off or in this case I'm just going to make sure they're not going to move trim away the excess and then I'm going to finish off again it's another Chinese 
And this is black claret. I mean, it's really dark, really black. And then you pick the best part of the hackle, the nice so the middle of the hackle. It's a good cape, that. It's got a nice, fine stem. You tighten the point. Again, make sure you match your thread. Now I did say this was tied for a bit of fun and it caught caught fish. I mean it's it's one of the daft flies that you tie up for a bit of fun and you they end up catching the fish. So I've got two or three to tie. Now you're only looking maybe well looking at these hackle fibers. At least two turns anyway, two and a half or so. Then come in, catch it. Because the stem's so fine, I can draw it back, fold it back, bring the thread to the front, again more wax, and then tidy up. Just ignore the hackle just now, just form a nice head. Come in with the thread. I've got a finishing tool, tie off. Trim away your thread, trim your hackle. See how it's looking? Now you can make a space for the hackle to get a couple of fibres or so in an area. Oh, sorry, for the jungle cock. There you go. And that there's a spectrum dabbler. Anyways, it's a bit of fun. Have a go. Now all I'm going to do here is put a couple of coats of varnish on. And that's the job done. And then this fly is going to be an island. If I can highlight it slightly. Just put my torch on it so you can at least try and imagine what the colour looks like. Because it always looks better here than it does on camera. And uh, you can mess about with it to get it to sit the way you like. And even the colour. But that's basically the original one. You can do it. There's another one here. This is without the wing. You know, we see the colour a wee bit better. So that's with the wing and without. Still got a coat of varnish to go in that. And uh, so you can mess around with it. And that's your spectrum dabbler.